وسط الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاق قلبي من أسى محرمت وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت الخير يسكب في أنا كم مرة قد ضقت من عظم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope everyone is well in the best of health and iman Today we have a very special podcast to discuss issues surrounding charities and even highlighting personal experiences of a special guest who's actually been out to Egypt and we would connect you with the situation on the ground, the emotional experience. And as we know, with Palestine at the moment, you know, Rafa is on the sites of the Sahayana, and we want to bring Palestine to the forefront always. And we won't stop because this is the cause of the Ummah, and this affects every single one of us. So first of all, I'd like to introduce my guest. He is very well versed on the ground in Egypt. He goes by the name of Irish Imi. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Thanks for you know uh, the invite and you know the hospitality being Allah subhanahu wa taala. So first of all, Habibi, I want to get to know you and get the views to mm. know you as a person, and eventually we'll gra- gravitate towards your story being Allah. So first of all, tell us a bit about yourself being Allah. Uh, so I started in the uh, charity sector okay. in 2016. We did a couple of deployments to Greece, uh, the Moria camp. Specifically, uh, I think we've done a few trips over there, yeah. and then from there we moved on to uh, done a tour in Yemen, uh, and then the floods in Pakistan, and uh, what year was in Sindh. So that was two years. I think two years ago. Now? Two, year two years. Oh ago, yes, yeah. yes, it was. Two years ago, recent. yeah. So uh, we we're in Sindh, Balochistan, uh, and then I've just. Uh, so I'm a community activist as well. So I do a lot of work within the community uh, okay. here in Oldham. I told them. Uh, yeah, so, so Alhamdulillah, yeah. So I'm pretty... So you're, you're connected with the community. Really. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And as far as your involvement in charity, what, what sort of inspired you to get into charity and sadaqah or lillah? So, it was... Uh, so I, I come from a bit of a colourful background. Okay. Uh, so I was in the prison in 2000s. I've been in prison quite a lot throughout okay. my uh, life. And then, so I think it was when the war started on in Yemen, Okay. So I was in my, uh, so I was in my, I was in the cell, and uh, I didn't know why, but I got really emotional at the time. Oh. And then, so I just couldn't pinpoint it what it was, but then it happened again a couple of weeks later, and I realised then it was because there was an advert on about the crisis in Yemen okay. and all the kids on malnutrition and yes, yes, yes. So I think call it a what do you call it? The, is it calling. A, a calling, yeah, a calling, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah, so, so I made the intention when I come home that I'm just going to focus okay. on helping Charity people, you know, to helping people and in the this community around the world. And has this always been instilled in you? In terms of I, like I think helping people has always been instilled, you know, it's oh, always wow. been, you know, some people say, well, how could you have been involved in life of crime and then you're helping people, it's a bit of a hypocritical and this, that, you know, but, but, but I don't, you know, I don't put it to that, look, you know, if, if, uh, if I could help people, I'd help people. Yeah, yeah. And even in mm. Islam, like, you know, the Prophet said that all the Islam. children of Adam make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And the one that, you know, who, you know, repent are, you know, yeah, the one that yeah, the yeah. best are those who repent. So yeah. I think that line of argument, it's like the, the Prophet Islam said as well that the conditions or one of the conditions of Tawbah mm-hmm. is Nadab, which is regret. And Nadab mm-hmm. Tawbah. Mm-hmm. The one that regrets from a city is like he's never done it. Yeah. So I think we, there's two extremes. I do believe mm-hmm. that some people are, okay, you've lived. Well, not to say I'm a jadik. We've mm. done the, we've done things we're not proud of, but yeah. Allah's mercy is encompassing, and I yeah, think people yeah. need to be well, aware of that. I think yeah. that there's a common you know misconception mm. with that. Now going and moving forward, uh, you come out of prison. Uh, mm. You start getting involved in charity work. So yeah. what would you be? What would you say was the defining moment, like when you got involved in the charity work? Yeah. Like, after all of the of the time, you know, reminiscing and mm. planning. What what is what? struck the other light like subhanallah this is something I want to get invested in always and forever so I think at first I started community work local community work we yeah. do homeless feeds and uh, you know okay. in, in Manchester obviously you know you know yourself so same as Birmingham you know there's it's, always it's there's homeless everywhere you know it's homeless terrible. people everywhere so I started there and uh, I only thought I'd do it on a one day week okay <laughs> so this was the thing one day a week whatever you I, could spend whatever I, time I, you could spend yeah. but then I found myself like Ringing the brother up, saying, "Look, you know, is there any more work we can do? Is there any something else we can do? You know, so, so, so on." 
then the uh, then I said, you know what? I want to do something internationally. I said, I don't really want to just wow. so, no, focus no. solely on solely on uh, you know home stuff. And then uh, so he said, look, he said, why don't we do Greece? What's that? Like so with the, the Moria Syria? camps, yeah, we're back in the Syria okay, and all okay. this sort. Of, so I went to Greece and uh, helped out with the camps and everything there. And I've looked back since. Is that individually? Like you just went out yourself? How did so, that work? So, so what I did was, I've, I know people in the charity sector. Okay, alhamdulillah. So, I'd, you know, so I'd ask them what's coming up, what have they got coming up, where they're going, what are they doing, and can I join? And, you know, and then yes, I've yes. got my own support network. You know, I've got family, friends, you know, alhamdulillah. Who, personal you know, relationship. Yeah, personal, yeah. So, you know, we put a pot together mm-hmm. and then we'll go out and then I'll go out and I'll just... So you spend a lot of time can, yeah. abroad in, in, in sort of the international, um, you know, spaces where there's conflicts. You, yeah, you yeah. just drop everything. And yeah, go. just drop everything. Just oh, go. Wow. You know, you know, I'm supported by my you know family and friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what, what about personal family? How do they accompany you as well, like brothers? No, 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 no. no. So, so they just look after things here. You know, okay, they fa- take care my family of friends, they just take care of things here okay. and they just you know they say, listen, the are yeah. with you and that's it. Well, you, yeah, just, you carry on you just go on. So it's like, it's, you know, <laughs> so it's like, you've got a good network because yeah, you want to like, do yeah. what you do without that network. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, important yeah. that we have yeah, that. Yeah. So when you were working with charities, mm. uh, how was that relationship uh, working with, again, so, we're going to get to, we gravitate so, towards. So, so hence, hence why we're on the, hence why we're here now having this conversation, you know. So the first thing, so I sort of noticed it a little bit here. When I first started out with the charity work with the homeless feeds and that, and there was an organisation that you know we were, we were doing with, and uh, so we'd go. So I'll just give you a quick example. Yeah, yeah, so so we'd go, we'd go pick some you know big big pot of food up. You know what uh, one of the, one of the families have done here. So they're donating food. Okay. So they're making hot meals oh, for the homeless home people, meals. and they're giving it to an organisation. Okay. And the organisation they're taking the volunteers, they're distributing it. Okay. The meals, yeah, around Manchester. Okay. So I know this meals. How cool. Sadda Jari from this woman. One yeah? Jari family. Yeah, okay. So she's made this food you know, on behalf of the blessing of Allah. Allah, Allah. Yeah, I mean. And then, please go give it out. Okay. So then I'd know it's a bit get given out. And then one t-shirt would come off and there'd be another t-shirt underneath from another organization. Okay. And I'd think, well, that's a bit, oh, what, what, what's going on here? What's and then pictures getting taken. So it's like sort of, they were sort of like double dipping, you know, like saying, okay, right, okay we're doing this here. And then. So I started obviously listening out and looking at things. You observed it. And I'm sort of, so, so I'm sort of figuring it out now. Yeah, yeah. So a few a few weeks have passed by, and I said, "Oh, what's what's the what's the deal with this other charity? You know what you're advertising?" Yeah. And he says, "Oh, yeah." He says, uh, "We send them, you know, footage that we're doing a homeless feed, and then and then they give us donations." Okay. So far, okay. So it's money. Yeah. It's so, so it's a bit, you know. Yeah. So then I sort of like just, you know, take take it. <laughs> I, you thought, want, you just, you I, I didn't want to believe, I didn't want to believe, I didn't want to believe at this time that these are sort of like exploiting other people okay. and taking the guard was up. the wrong. But obviously my guard's up now, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so I'm thinking, okay. So fast forward now, so we go to another country, yeah, and we're doing some charity work in another country with this organisation, yeah. So you're still working with them? Still doing, because they're getting me a place, you know, they, I'm okay. using their links. You know them yeah. personally or personal? Yeah, I know them person, okay, okay. personally. But then... So when we've gone to we've gone to the other country, then I'm thinking there's like big spending going on, and you know, just okay. spending a lot more. And I spend my own money, and all humble, like, you know, you know. So, so I'm not living off an organisation. I'm not, you know, I'm not CEO You're taking wages. The, the, the I'm not, you know, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking you're making a few big spends here. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, staying in like six hundred pound night hotel. Nice. And I'm thinking, right, okay. okay. So this is where the book stopped now with me because now I know myself that listen. These guys, these guys are taking the mix, so to speak. Yeah, and, you know, wow. they're abusing. So, so far, okay. So, so I questioned the brother. So I said, listen, I said, no, 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 you know. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, it's nothing like that. You know, it was just, uh, it helps along the way, you know, that we get other charity organizations on board and all that. And I think, well, hang on a minute. Well, you're taking money from this organization. It's saying you're doing something. But you're spending. Well, it's not all getting spent on that. Wow. So I said, right, this is where we have to, you know, part ways now. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So that's where it stopped. So I thought I had a word with a few people in the community and that, you know, and uh, so this is all, but you know what he's like, he's like that. And it's like, I said, but you're, you're sort of condoning this guy. You're sort of like, you yeah, know, yeah, you're, yeah. you're giving him a free reign here. Of course. By, you know, still and associating just... and thinking it's okay for these things. I said, but it's not. Of course. So this is where I thought, you know what, just wash your hands now. You've said what you've had to say. You've made people, you know, people yeah, aware in the on. community. So just move on now, right? So yeah, so, so that's where, so then, uh, so then I, I started getting, uh, other, other charities started speaking to me, then, you know, like just 
because they know I'm doing charity work now. So people are saying, oh, it's not like a brother. You know, just, just you know. Just uh, support, because you're, you're well known in the community, yeah, people yeah, yeah. know you're involved. Yeah. So then they're saying, well, you know, is, is, would you come on board with us and just do some charity work? And, you know, so, okay, no problem. So I've started working with other, well, working alongside other organizations. So what I'll always do is always do my own work. Okay. And if they want to come on board, this and if we can work of together course, in some it's way, always you know, good to work helps, then sweet, then we're going to do it. Of course. Then I started noticing, oh no. Continuous. Oh, again, it's continuous, it's a continuous cycle. And if it's not them, then it's people who are working for them, representing them. Okay. And so then, obviously, so, I'm, so I have to highlight it every time, and I'm thinking, look. So you've got this uh, enjoying the good and forbidding the evil inside of you. Yeah, it's yeah, true, yeah. But, but you but see I, a wrong, you can't keep it. Yeah, but I can't. But I don't care, you know, look, with, with me, if you're my friend, you're my friend. But yeah. if you're doing wrong, I'm going to call you out on doing wrong, bro. You know, I can't. That's a good trade of a bit. No, how can we be in, how can we be in this yeah, line yeah, of work? of course, of course. You know, because in effect, you're abusing the abuse, abuse. Wow. wow. Which, which it is, Deep. you know, so, so. You're abusing the abuse. Yeah. Because you're taking their amana, their exactly. trust. Exactly. And abusing it. Yeah. So moving on from these experiences that you had, mm. and now your, your guard's even more higher. You think yeah. This is yeah. now from a local level to an international mm. level. And it's not just one charity, it's numerous charities. So do you no. believe the charity sector as a whole has been getting away with this sort of behavior, conduct, scotch-free for a long time, since you've been involved. Well, it must be, because look, you know, I'm, I'm really relatively new to the game, really, if you think about it, the grand scheme of it, 2016, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now it's like, it seems like 10 years now, but yeah, yeah, this organization's been going on for well before me, do you know, so, Good point. So, uh, so I think, I think what people have, people have seen a, people who are a bit ill-intentioned, who've got ill-intentions, they've, yeah, 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 they're capitalising on it. They're capitalising on it. But, you know, this, that's not to say, though, you know, all organisations, I do feel that majority, they've, they've set out to do good. Okay. But along the way, somewhere. People. People groups. who are involved, group, yeah, they start becoming a bit clicky, then it gets bigger than them. And then they can't, they can't keep observing their people, see what they're doing. But then when they get pulled up on it, this is through my experience now, so. Okay. If, so when I pull people up on it, then they don't know which way to go. You know, they see they don't know because they don't want to tarnish themselves. They don't want to openly admit fault that listen to their donors that listen, we've taken the eye off the ball. Fair enough. Is that we've, reputational? We've, yeah, we've made a cock up, Sorry. but we're going to rectify it. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. Wow. Because they're, they're bad labeled, aren't they? So, they? so they just pray and hope that this continues. Uh, we don't get caught or no one brings it out to the public forum. Exactly. And that's why we're here today. Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to be direct. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. No, no, no. I want to play devil's advocate to a certain extent. You okay. mentioned by your own admission yeah, yeah. that you've been to jail. Yeah. And, and again, I'm, I'm not calling you verbatim, but you mentioned you, you were involved in criminal activity. No. Yeah. So whilst obviously I'm asking this for myself, maybe mm. the viewers might be thinking the same. Mm. Uh, why should we trust you? Like, you're not the, the, you know, the knight uh, or the honest citizen. Why, why should we believe what you have to say about these charities? You know, you know one thing with me is, like, you know, I'm no poster boy for the religion of Islam, the beautiful religion, you know, but, but you know, but Alhamdulillah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a Muslim. And one thing what people do know with me is that if I see a wrong, then I'll call it ours, what okay. it is. Regardless, you know, of regardless who it is, whether it's my brother, my sister, okay. you know, and, and, and anyone who knows me, they know, you know that a wrong is a wrong, and I will call it out. Okay, so, so based on the, the past experiences that you have, this is a common known trait of Irish Amy that regardless what you do, everyone yeah. has vices. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. I, to be fair, I don't even know what you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's criminal activities, mm. it's, con it's condemned. Yeah, of course, 100%. But generally, 100%. As, as, a, as a believer, mm. that concept of what you see to be wrong, even though you've got your own vices, mm -hmm. you call it out and vice versa, people call you out for that. 100%. You've got that circle. 100%. And right. people know you about yeah. that. That's your quality in all of them. Yeah. They if know I, Irish Amy's like this. Yeah, you know, you know if, I, if I'm wrong, then I'll hold my hands up and someone can call me out as much as they want. Even if I was to say to you, Darry, I, 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 I don't prefer this. This is wrong. You won't 100%. take it personally. There's I won't take it personally involved. because look, because look, it, you know, I could, I could be, I don't have to do this. You know, I don't have to go out there helping people and doing this. I don't, I don't have to, you know, but there's, you know, it, but it is something what I've chose to do. So I'm not going to choose to do something. Yeah. I know. And then 
let wrong, of course. You want to be around it. You want you want to lead by example. So exactly. Okay. okay, and I understand that. I have to get that out this way. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. No, 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 no you apologize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, no. now we've 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 laid a foundation about mm. you, about your work, about your inspiration, about you as a person, mm. and I and I respect the fact that you've mentioned about your own past, which you didn't have to. Yeah, yeah. And, and and there's not something that I and I say to the camera. This wasn't. This is free stuff. I've never yeah, mentioned yeah. anything about your mm. crew, but I didn't even know you had it. No, so for you no. to volunteer that information mm. shows that you know the, the concept of trying to learn from your mistakes. Mm. Now, since the war in Gaza, which is which is a war in Gaza, it's an absolute genocide, and, and people yeah. would have their opinion about it, mm. whatever side you sit on, whether it's the Zionist side or on the the Palestinian side. Yeah. Where were you when? This unfolded uh, because it, it took the world by surprise, didn't it? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I remember where I was. I was driving back uh, from somewhere. Got a phone call and said, "Have you heard what happened? You know, in, in Gaza." And I would have assumed it's something to do with you know certain issues between the Israelis, mm. with the Zionists, who always leading mm. aggression. But it was a attack of some sort. So mm. when this happened and it was spread all over the news. Mm. Where were you and, and, and what happened? You know, the, the mad thing is, is that, you know, at the time, just before, a week prior, uh, there's myself and a, a friend of mine at the time, so we were just in talks about going doing a campaign in Greece. So, uh, some charity work. Okay. So we, we were just talk, so, so we were preparing to do some work. Oh, okay. And, then I, you I think, that. and I think, yeah, look, look you know, it's, look how a lot worked here, you know. It got put back a little bit because something came up with him. Okay. And then it got put back another few days because something came up with me. So you were supposed to fly out? Yeah, we were not there. We were supposed to go to Greece, Greece sorry, to I mean, do some yeah. work. And then yes, just as we were about to ready now, both of us, now this has happened. Okay. So, so when this happened? So when this happened now, obviously, look, it's Palestine. It's, of course. It is, it is, it is, it's, you know, I've course. been campaigning for Palestine years previous to this, you know, with, with other, other forms of campaign. Uh, you know, uh, I attended lots, lots of talks, marches, whatever, you know, and whatever yeah. else. Uh, so straight away, we thought, right, you know what, let's, what's, what's the need going to be over there? You know, what, what, what can we do? So we thought, en route, we'll grab some ambulances. Okay. Yeah, so, so we'll grab some ambulances. And then we'll get them to Turkey. Then from Turkey, we'll just fly over, you know, to Egypt. So you to Egypt. purchase some ambulances for yeah. the Gazans, and yeah. then you're going to drive them yourselves to Turkey. To Turkey, get them on a ship. Get them on a ship. Get them shipped over to Egypt. And then you're going to fly from there. And then we, and then we thought at that point, then yeah. we'll be able to get some inward and drive over, drive wow. into Egypt. into Palestine. This is what this is what we thought. Oh, eventually, what thought. eventually, this is what. Well, obviously, we didn't, we didn't realize the ratifications or the implications yeah, yeah, of yeah. all the security issues and this, this. But now we're in Egypt now. So you're in Egypt. So Funny enough, Egypt. I tell you, what, I was in Palestine on September the 20th to September the 27th. Mm. I was there, literally, like this. It's nine days or nine eight, days, eleven yeah, days yeah, before. Yeah. And when we flew back, like just imagine, right? Like you flew mm. out there pretty much straight away. So how mm. how soon? So October the 7th happened. How soon did you get on the plane? Oh, did you drove, sorry. So say. so so the. The twelfth, we had to. So we made the we made the links. Obviously, where we're going to purchase ambulances yes, yes, from. Yes, we, found them, we found them. We found So we found these ambulances. So we went. So on the twelfth, I think we went out. So from the twelfth, we went out uh, to to obtain the ambulances and everything. And I think by the time we finished, by the time we finished up, I think it was about the 29th when we ended up in Egypt. Okay. Around that time, I think around maybe on the 29th. Whatever happened to those ambulances, by the way? Right. So. They've now, only recently, there's just so much red tape and so much, you know, paperwork to go for and security clearance and then, and then, you know, you know obviously because the situation there. You didn't think of that there, beforehand? No, we didn't. It was a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Okay. Get the numbers. With well, good intention. Yeah, the intention was always good, do you know right. what I mean? Uh, so they just got it now? Recently, you know. Just Seven recently, yeah. Just recently, yeah. So what were they doing? Yeah. What were the they just, just outside they were just sat there? Yeah, they were just sat there. Just sat there. We, you know, the, the, but... From that then, then we went on to getting the aid, you know, from Egypt. Yeah. Right. So we're so in, now you're in Egypt. Yes, now we're in Egypt now. And uh, there was, we had a point of contact who was a person uh, who were liaising with all the other organizations and they were putting them on to where to get stuff from, you know, in Egypt that we could send over humanitarian aid. So we've gone, we've gone over anyway, me and a few brothers. So we've gone to these people who we were told, you know, these, these are the best people to yeah. use. And then, uh, 
You're following their lead. So we're following their we're following their lead. For you know what, we don't want to waste any more time going wasted. You know the brothers and sisters with the need. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Who we need, so we need to start working. You know, we need to start pushing. We need to pave the way now. Got you. Uh, and start getting stuff through. Yeah. So we've ended up with this government organisation in Egypt, who who we were led to believe were the good go tos. You know, to to get yeah. all the aid and everything. So we've got there, and then. The, so obviously we're a bit street smart, innit, bro? You know, we touched on this little conversation. You know, yeah. So you know, we we always want to get yeah, to the yeah. source. You know, we, we can sense the BS. You know, yeah. So so you know, and also you know, when you're spending your money as well, you know, and your people's money, then you want the best value okay, you know, for the thing. You know, yeah, yeah. You got you've got to be on you. Come on, you're not are you not doing you're not doing your duty. Of course, duty. Yeah, of course. So everything looked well with these people. Big office, big Chesterfields. Nice. You know, pictures of you know people up on relative, yeah. you know politicians politicians up on the wall and everything. Uh, so we just said, you no know, in conversation, we said, look, take us directly, you know, to where we're getting the water from. And that that's time, spontaneous for that. That's that, spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so at that point, so that, there then. So at that time, we were getting the water for £3.80 a box for 18 litres, yeah? £3.80 a box for 18 litres? Yeah, £3.80, yeah. Okay, £3.80. So it's 12 1.5-litre bottles, I think, in a thing. Is that 18 litres? It's something like that, yeah. So, so we said, oh, take us. So he's like, yeah, yeah, cool, no problem. Yeah, so we've gone there anyway. Uh, and then we just the guy, the guy, the guy we went with. He's always like trying to keep us away from the actual people who work in the factory. Nice. And that doesn't sit right, you know. When yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah. you know what it, don't you? Something's not right here. Yeah. So I said to my, I said to my friend at the time, I said, "Listen, I says, uh, take them over there." So let me, so I asked one of the workers, who, who, "Who owns this company?" So he said, "Oh, that guy over there." So okay. they've diverted them over there. Then so yeah, I've gone yeah, to him. I said, you well, went to so I'll give Slam, explain to him. You know, listen, this we've come from England. No, no, no. I said, how much? Uh, I said, what are you? What are these lot getting the water for? So he says, oh, well, how much is he charging you? So I said, works out. I said, listen, works out about three pound eighty. You know, three three pound eighty. G, 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 sterling. Yeah, sterling. Yeah. Sterling. A box. So they call it pounds in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Egyptian pounds. Not Egyptian pounds. Yeah. So. This guy, like, his face just changed, bro. And literally, I promise you, like, his eyes started welling up. Wow. Because he, he... Because when I told him this price, and he says, and he started swearing, used a few cuss words, yeah. and he said, look, it's, look, it's a for Gaza. He says, how can these people... So I'm going to go see him. I said, well, bro, I said, just yeah, stop a minute. Be. Well, I'm supposed to have so this conversation. Yeah. I said, you know, that's, what's, what's up? And he says, I charge these one pound, one pound, one twenty, one of your venue, one pound, one twenty, he says. And this was he said, And this is for Gaza. He said, how can these people do wow. this? No, no, no. So I said to him, look, brother, I says, because we're in another country now, aren't we? Yeah. We're, we're not, here, really we're, we're not here for short term. You know, there's, there's, we want to work. work. We want to keep pushing aid for you. know, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. we come here for. Don't do anything silly. Yeah. So, so I said, look, brother, I said, we'll pay him this time. You know, whatever we've ordered him. We ordered the minimum anyway because we're testing the waters. Of course, yeah? of course. So, so I said, and then from this point on, I said, we're just going to work directly with you. Okay. So this is this brother now is he owns the water company. He owns the water company. Yeah. Now, just to give a bit of backdrop, so the brothers and sisters are aware. I, again, I'll give you a bit of background as well, and I assume you will probably laugh. In 2016, mm. I know you're gonna, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> brother sent me a message, <laughs> and I conveniently ignored him. It wasn't unintentional, <laughs> but we've got some connection going back. Yeah, when you yeah. started, by the way. That's when I started, yeah. That's when I started, yeah. So, yeah. so just to get out of there, we made up, we kissed and made up, we fine. So, I seen a video, mm. well, re rephrase that. I was sent a video okay. by you, and again, the language was colourful, let's just say that. Right, and yeah. you were quite pepped up, you were angry. Okay. And this was from the Instagram uh, post, this was the 18th of December. Okay. So you've been okay. in Egypt now for approximately yeah. two months, over two yeah. months now. Yeah. And you had your phone, and it wasn't very clear, okay. uh, but you were, another brother was putting some sort of, uh, uh, you were reading a message or an email okay, about yeah, some so, items. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I know which one it is, yeah. And you were absolutely fuming. Mm. So tell us a bit about that, because that's when I first made contact with you okay. after that. So remember now, like you said, so we've been needed for a couple of months now. Yeah. In effect, yeah? Yeah. And we've been doing all the groundwork for making sure that we've got the best prices and the best, you know, obviously, you know, value for money. So Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Now, I've been speaking a lot about margins and charities, and I've had documentation from different charities where they're making crazy margins mm. and whatnot. So I'd like to ask you now, being direct, mm. that you going out there and getting these items for one pound, are you making any money from this venture? Not a penny. Not a penny. Not a penny. Okay. Nothing now, when I say you, I'm, I'm, remember, I'm spending my money. So you're spending your own, my own hard-earned money. Okay. And my close people and friends around me 
So, okay. so I'm spending our money, so okay. I'm not making. So there's nothing. Everything no for me, fun. everything for me is uh, Linda, everything, so simple. Okay, so simple. There, so just get that out there because yeah. people might think, well, hold on, and you're sitting with Irish Jimmy, mm. you've been asking the other charities and whatnot. So why yeah. don't you ask him? So there's no margins. You're not making any money. Zero. You've got all. You know, personally, due to the impact that this has caused, yeah. you've got out there, you've dropped everything and went. Yeah. Now, b- before going on to that, mm. who else have you been working with whilst you've been out there? So, we, so as in UK charities, yes. you mean? Okay, so mainly with Muslim is Need. They've Muslim been a long time. You've been working with them, okay. Uh, in that, but they're not, they're a Norwegian charity, and there's been lots of, there's been loads of off, other charities coming, working on board with us. Okay. Because of the price list and that, what we've been able to do. So you've been able to connect, uh, create a connection and a link. Yeah. Where they were interested in this, so yeah. hence why, let's speak to Irish yeah. Emmy. Okay. Yeah. And these are UK charities and non UK charities. UK and non UK okay. charities. Yeah. So tell us a bit about going back to the, the original okay. point. So you, you were effing and blinded, and let's be frank, you were. Okay. You were effing and blinded, not to say we condone that. So what, what spread that? What happened? So, so, I think I think I think it was Abid from Muslims in Need. So he sends us so he sends us this uh, list. What an org- another organisation sent to him. Now remember, we've been out there for like a couple of months yeah, now, yeah, yeah, and we've been saying. making sure that we've done all the legwork to the best of our ability. Yeah, and you know, and we know what we went through. Hours and hours and hours of going around. here, going there, everything. Come yeah. on, man, it's not it's not easy. Especially in the Muslim countries, yeah. you know what yeah, it's like. Yeah, so it's not so it wasn't easy. Cool. You know the 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 work what the you know the work what we did. Uh, it you know it, it took it took a lot of time. Oh, but, but that's, what that's what we're there for. That's what we're there for. Struggles are there. So, so you know, so we've done all this work, and it's and it was public knowledge, like as to you know the prices. So we're telling people don't spend this, don't do that. Listen, this is Which the place. This is the place where to come. Just publicly, publicly, yeah, and other organisations as well, yeah. So we're saying to them, look. This is how much, because people ask us, you know, people come to us, you know, they get in touch and say, look. Who are these people, by the way, when you say people? Just organisations, other organisations. And what about us here in the UK? Yeah, 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 people, just, you know, anyone in the network, anyone who sees stuff on social media, we get questions all the time. So, so we've got a system in place now. Yeah. And this is not for us to say, oh yeah, look at us, we've done this. Course, no, no, it's, it's not, do this is, we're doing it, well, and we're doing it to make sure that other people, so the, the framework is set. Framework is set, use it. Of course. So my You've whole got that thing, base now. My whole, yeah, my whole thing on always, and you can see this on my social medias, and you know, anyone, anyone who you ask, you know, who's, Irish been, who's, been, on who's been connected with What's us. What's the, uh, you want to tell them where to find you? So, uh, so it's Irish Imi on Facebook. It's Irish underscore Imi underscore on Instagram. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so, uh, so we're saying to people, look, come over. Yeah. We'll put you in touch with the people. And this <laughs> like you just, ca- you just carry on. Yeah. Just carry on, just use the blueprint because it's the, it's, we've done two months of work and it's the best what we could get. And, and, and if this doesn't work for you and you find something better, just go use one. it. But you please, give them the link. But please come in and use this blueprint because we yeah. know the rip, in, the rip off merchants and all yeah. that. And we've, you know, we've just, we've just wiped them out. So you got that email now. Yeah. So, so, now, so we've got this email now. You want to name the charity? <sighs> but, uh, yeah. No. So, so this is uh, a, it was an organization, but they got it sent by another organization saying, look, these are the prices we're getting. We, you know, use these, this is, this is the price wow. to use. So you're looking and at I, this. I'm, and I've seen this now and I'm thinking. Well, are you able yeah, to I'm, mention I'm, what the price is? Are you yeah, yeah, the prices are on there. I'll put the prices on there. You, you want, want to repeat it for those who so, are So working? I think, I think. So, what so, the water, so the water for us, so the water for us, basically, I think we were spending like 1,200, 1,600. And these people were saying, go to these people here for your water. And it's three thousand eight hundred. Wow. Look at the comparison, Double, bro. Almost. Look at the comparison. So it's like I'm even fuming yeah, now. Just you're working thinking, on the ground. Wow, you know. So I've got this list, and I think I think the flower. I think flower. There was like it was six thousand pound more than what we were. What we I were remember because when you were you were you were recording, and I could you know you were very you know from your face you were red and you're angry. You were loading at that time. Yeah, I was loading. Like, we were just loading yeah. up then, yeah. And then I've got directed to this email. So you thought, and, and, I'm bro, I, just, I just dropped my bags of flour. Man. Yeah, you started <laughs> recording. I thought, wow. So, so, and I'm thinking, how could, the audacity of an organization, a reputable organization, supposedly, uh, the audacity for them to be sending other organizations this price list. Double. Some of it was more than double, bro. And I'm thinking, you scumbags, how dare you? You know, how, how dare you? You know, these are not the prices what, what, you, what you've got. They can't be. There's no way, There's no way. that these are the prices what you've got. Something's been added onto this. Can I ask? And again, I'm, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, right? So whoever sent this email from mm. another company, do you see what I mean? It's like a yeah, double, yeah, yeah. double link, yeah, yeah. 
could they have not done their due diligence and were just, you know, ignorant or gullible? Or do no. you believe something more sinister than that? Yeah. Allah well, well, for, exactly, yeah. Allah alam. But, you know, for me, so let's, let's just say, let's, have, let's just say for the sake of argument, let's yeah, just, yeah. Let's, for me, first, as soon as them prices, because them prices were so extortionate, bro, and so, so off the mark, yeah. is, is for, for me, that someone has been doing something. Okay. Some, someone's up yeah, to that's how you feel. Someone's up to that's how I feel, that's how I feel about okay. it, yeah? But then, if that email, that email got sent to someone else and then got sent to someone who we were working a little bit alongside, yeah? Yeah. So, if that person's in contact with this organization, then they know what this organization is doing. Okay. And they've seen. Yeah, yeah. So they work. So come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not done. We're so not come done. on. You know. So you you believe there's something sinister. Hundred you know? percent. Okay. Hundred percent. So as you've you've done that live now and you've you've circulated it across well, I was social getting social phone calls. That's what from I was going to ask. People. Ask. There was people I don't doing? even know. There was people I don't. Even, people. Some people I didn't even know. What were and, they saying? And they were saying, oh. Is this right? What's the organization? Please tell us what organization yeah, yeah, it was. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I asked you as well. So, 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 I'm, so I'm saying, look, bro, let's just say there might be a little point, a little percentage yeah. that they could have just missed the mark, yeah? Okay. Which is highly unlikely for Yeah, me. yeah, but you're giving the benefit of the doubt. So let me just say, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not doing that for myself, bro. I'm just doing that publicly. Because you, someone you, could turn around and say, you shouldn't have done this, bro. You shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. But, but, listen, but, but, but I know what I know. What I know. Of course, of course. Yeah. So, so people calling me saying, oh, please, brother, tell us, look, we've been donating this to charity. We've been doing this. Could you tell us about this? this, this? So I'm yeah. saying, look, man, I'm saying, look, you know the prices now as to what That's I've right. told you. Yeah. So now you know the prices. If the organization you're donating to, and if you have donated and they're going off the prices, what made me a bit annoyed, so to speak. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm saying, well, question them. Okay. Question them. Because someone's not done the due diligence. Was this one email or uh, from, from a specific individual that you were aware of? Or this was just like, okay, here you go. Work with us. Do you see what I mean? Like someone got in touch with no, you. So, so this was getting passed around. So but those on the ground. UK organizations. Okay. Saying, listen, here's, a, here's, here's what we're doing. Can I ask you now? Go on. Let's name them then. That's it, it, no, no, it, it's up to you. I'm not dictating anything. Yeah, you, you, know, be, you, you know, because the email didn't come to me directly and it came through an organization that we were working with. This, okay. is, this is why I won't. This okay. is why I'm not going to name. You'd be cautious. Because, yeah. Okay, and, and it's only because, look. And I'm not saying that they are. Let's just say, because I go, look, there's possibilities that someone could have made that email. Let's just say. Let's just say. Let's just say. Yeah. Highly unlikely, but it's a possibility. It could be. They're not only going to be the person to. I know yeah. So for me, so go back to this now, what I was saying to these people who were getting in touch with me then about organizations saying, bro, please look, we yeah, can whatever. Yeah. Do your due diligence. That's the main message. Question these organizations. Don't just take someone's word for it. Well, show us then. Say, say well, look, well, where's the money gone? What have you purchased it on? So we can break down the cost. Break it down. How much you've raised. I think this is what I asked as well consistently for the last six months, in fact. Because as you know, and I've said this publicly, that Gaza, mm. Palestine, and various uh, regions in the Islamic world have more of an affection and touches the believers more because of the prophetic text. Yeah, of course. So of it'll course. always be like the Abd al-Muqaddisah, that's Palestine, Ash-Shab, Syria, no. then Yemen, mm. you've got a hadith about Yemen. No. And then people naturally, look, if you had a campaign, and you would know, you had a campaign for somewhere in Bangladesh or Burma, then you had Palestine on one side, mm. where would people naturally donate? No. Because of the religious significance. Yeah, of course, of course. So, now that you've had this experience, mm. you, you're seeing, and I'm, I'm trying to put yeah, yeah. my words carefully, you're seeing footages now. Yeah. So you see footages going to Gaza, mm. and they say, look, our aid's getting in. So okay. how much you've raised, how much you've spent, how many trucks yeah. are getting in. When, when you were in Egypt, yeah. apart from the food packs and mm. whatnot, where you've seen some considerable issues, mm. what other issues did you feel that needs addressing for the brothers and sisters that are potentially going to donate, considering what's happening in Rafa right now? You, you know, look, so, so, you know, as far as, as far as with us loading trucks, yeah, so, look, you have to, you have to go, go to, go to where, so we start loading trucks. Yeah. And then the trucks go to Ismailia. Yeah? Ismailia. Okay. Ismail. So, from Cairo, Ismailia. How far is it? Cairo to Ismailia. It's a couple of hour drive. No, no it's not. Okay. Yeah, but, so once they get to Ismailia, now this is, so when we were doing it, so we go to Ismailia, yeah? from Ismailia then, 
the Egyptian Red Crescent would come out because we'd go for the Egyptian Red Crescent. So you mean Ismaili? Yeah, 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 okay. Ismaili. Yeah. Okay. So from Ismaili, the Egyptian Red Crescent will come out. Yeah. They'll check the trucks, make sure it's to the standard what the the Israelis say you can only stack so much high. No, 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 no. So you the know. Israelis dictate. Yeah, they dictate. Yeah, through the Palestinian Red Even Crescent, they dictate. Yeah. Wow. So they so. You have to, so then from Ismaili then, so then the Egyptian Red Crescent will come out, they'll check the truck, yeah? Okay. Now they'll give you a QR code, which they didn't used to do before, but because aid used to go missing, and people used oh, to obviously okay. call it out, then, then so, so, but fair play to them. That's so, so they bought the system with QR codes, yeah? QR code. So your truck gets a QR code, they check it to make sure that everything's as it says it is on the inventory, then they, they give you the QR code. Okay. Then it gets close to Aresh, which is the, uh, yeah. So it goes to Arish. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right, and then from there then, the QR code will get checked again to make sure everything's still okay. on there. So it's it right? yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so, so it's good, you know, look, whatever people's, you know, whatever people's opinions are of, you know, the Egyptian government or whatever, yeah. but you know, look, they've done, they've done, they've done us a just cause, wow, that, you know, we're, we're, we're getting them QR codes sorted, you know. And, and it's that. connected to your organization yeah. or your charity yeah. or your individual. Right? Yeah, so, so, so it's your, so then it goes there and it has to wait there. And then when it gets called from the Palestinian Red Crescent, who are obviously through the Israeli whatever, yeah, then, then it goes through. Okay. Now, okay. so you know where uh, everyone's always just showing video footage of our trucks have gone into Gaza, our trucks have gone into Gaza. Which is quite common, we see that. Yeah, yeah, so you see, that's just, well, that's the Egyptian side of Rafa. Okay. Yeah, so it's the Egyptian side of Rafa. Okay. The backlog's going, I've showed you a video. Well, yeah, yeah, we're going to play that, inshallah. Right. Uh, so, have you done, we'll, so, we'll send that later too. So, when them trucks go in there, they're only going in there to, the, so the QR codes are matched and everything. That's the purpose of it. These people are seeing it, and then they get sent back out. The truck gets sent back out. Can I repeat that back to you? It's all right. understood it. So, so, from Ismaili, yeah, so I know there's a, there's, yeah. I'm, I'm listening to you, so you can't tell me that. So, he goes from Cairo Kahira to Ismaili. Yeah. You've accompanied that truck to yep. Ismailia. Yep. Then from Ismailia, they place a QR code onto yep. the truck to make sure everything is on the inventory right, on, yep. on the sheet. Once it gets, you know, passed and signed up, yep. you leave. Yeah. Then from Ismailia, why can't you go to? So, Al-Aish? so, so this is all checkpoints now, and so obviously this is security, is it? Isn't it? So this is all checkpoints now. Military. So from Ismailia, it's all checkpoints. Yeah. It's all you can't go. If you're going to, if you're going to, if you're driving to. Uh, uh, what's the holiday? Sharm El Sheikh. Okay, okay, okay. So that's so if that's, you're driving to Sharm El Sheikh, yeah, yeah, you've okay. got a reason as to why you're going through that. They let you go. They let you go. If the if you're going to arrange for something, but you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to sign off. You're gonna have to pass now. Yeah, there's a reason why you're going there. Okay, interesting. So everything's it's logged. It's everything's logged. Counted, so you everything. can't move forward. You can't. You can't move. So that truck goes with reason, the driver. So only. the truck goes with the driver to Al Arish. To Al Arish. Gets checked again. Gets checked again. So now from Al Arish to Rafa is about half an hour or so from if I look at the map. So when it gets to Rafa, now yeah. we're seeing those footages from the charity. Yeah. So now you're seeing them go in. But yeah, then so they're showing it. Yeah. But then trucks come back out. <laughs> come back out. Yeah. They're only getting checked. So they go into Rafa. Yeah. Get checked and come back where? Come back out to where? Arish again. Go back to Arish. And then they get called in when they're ready oh to get called in. So they could, yeah. be, they could be stacked up. That's why I've seen those footage so, from Al Jazeera. Yeah. Tens of thousands of trucks have been stacked. Yeah. So they don't even, they let it in and they come bring it back out. They're waiting to get checked though. So why are they telling us this? Whether something's changed now, I don't know. Because okay. I'm going to get to this where I've stopped with the trucks. Yeah, yeah, there. we're going to get to that. So, well then. That's so, interesting. So this is like, it's, you're leading people under false pretense. Oh, I agree. So you know, so this is this is where it's marketing. One hundred percent. This is what it is marketing. It's marketing. So it comes back now, and then it waits, and however long. So they'll when they decide to call them. Who's they? The Zionists. Yeah. Okay. So when they decide to call them and say, "Listen, it's okay for the Palestinian Red Crescent to take these trucks." Wow. Then they call them back in, right? Whatever number, then and then and there. Get sent in. So that could be that could be flower. That could be yeah. Look, we all know. Listen, whatever reasons these got for the thing, but you know. Yeah. So so. So what happened then? Now, now that you've seen this, you've experienced this, this is now ongoing, you're, 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 you're getting all of these trucks back. What, what, what did so, you do then? What so, did you so, do you know, so you know the brother who I'm telling you, so you've seen him in that video. So the guy, you know, who owned the water company, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Armor, yeah. I seen him in the video. Well, alhamdulillah, beautiful brother. You know, he's, he's, he's opened doors for us like, you know, he is, 
But then at some point, everyone's hands are tied, aren't they? Of course. Of course. But you know, but he, he was always, he's always fighting for us, making sure, you know, wow. that, that, you know, whatever we ask, he, he does his utmost to make it happen. Oh. But you know, but look, you know, it, 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 they can't do everything. It's just, yeah. So, you know, so, so when I started seeing all these trucks, you know, getting, you know, stacked up. So we made the decision and we said, look, you know, we need some, we need footage inside. This inside. is not to say that, you know, because you, you know, know the trucks are coming wrong, back. But you have to remember, we've got people to answer to. Of course. So, you know, the, when these trucks are coming back, then they're going back in when they get called for. When they go back in to get called for, at what point then, where did they go then? We don't where's know. The, where, where's, where's the evidence? Where's the stuff? Okay. So, you know, so Alhamdulillah, we said, the doctor, you know, he, 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 he started getting us footage from inside. Okay. How many trucks did you don't mind you say inside? From the campaign, so, from October till you left? Yeah, so, so I can't. Specifically, I, I can't because this is, this is what I'm going to get at now. Okay. So then some footage was getting got when we started, you know, we said, look, we didn't need You're pushing we for we're it. Push, we're pushing for it. But, you know, he can only, you know, the doctor can only do so much. So we started getting footage. Yeah. Then footage stopped. How Coming much footage did you get before it stopped? I'd, I'd say, it, it all. personally, yeah. for me, I think there was two loads. That's two not trucks. two trucks. That's two separate convoys that we sent. Okay, okay. I think there was one with, I think, I think 14 trucks. 14. 14. And then there was one with, I think it was 20, 20 something trucks. Okay. Yeah. So. That's interesting. So, and remember, and this is out of. I know. This, this is out of a lot of trucks. Bro. And when you see those trucks stacked, this is a question I'd like to ask you, I wish you knew, right? Because I, I, I'll be watching Al Jazeera reports and there's tens of thousands of trucks. Now, the Western charities, yeah. which are capitalistic by nature, as you've experienced. Mm. They, do you believe they're overselling their work? Because it's as if, look, if I'm watching their campaigns, it's as if the, the Western charities are the lifeline. Out of the tens of thousands of trucks, you would say it's mostly Western charities. Is that the case? Because I, I, I don't see any evidence to suggest that. Because all the charities are saying to me is, we've said 10 trucks, we've said five trucks, mm. limited amount of trucks. Yeah. So in comparison to the amount of money raised, and the amount of trucks that they've loaded, because there's mm. discrepancies in the prices as well. Some say 10 grand, some say 50 yeah. grand, some say 20. Like, there's no consistency. There is no consistency. So, so do you believe that the Western charities are, the, the, back is, the marketing strategy has been so cute and clever that we have been sold, again, by the strategy that I think they get in it. They, they, they are the, the, the lifeline in the... No, in, think, no, look, no. look the, the thing is, there's no lifeline there, really. No, really, no. There's no lifeline. Because like I said to you, and like you've all seen before, all these trucks are stacked, all these trucks stacked. are getting stacked up, stacked up, stacked up. Yeah. What, and they're only allowing whatever they're allowing in. Not, the, not We're not allowing it. Yeah, Egypt, they are. Egypt's not allowing it. They're only allowing whatever they're allowing in. Okay, beautiful. Send us 10 trucks of flour. You allow 10 trucks of flour in now. You allow this in now. So there's definitely oh, you know when you're here. With the cost that they've raised, come on, stupid bro. amount. Come on, bro. 100%. Look, what are we seeing when the... For, we're seeing footage from in Gaza, aren't we? Yeah, we are, of course, yeah. We're seeing footage of people. Kids crying. We're seeing and, 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 footage of people carrying. Take it time. Yeah, I know, it's, it's emotional. We, we, we can't allow this sort of uh, behavior. It's, it's... We're, we're, we're here being the last part of time to support Rakhi, and you're doing all you can. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and I could, I could speak, I've been speaking for months, but you've been on the ground, so obviously you've got some emotional connection that I haven't. But ultimately, this is a frustration, isn't it, Habiba? This yeah. is a frustration. And where is the frustration now? I know you've got tears, but I don't you. Where is the frustration, Habiba? Where, 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 why, why do you feel the way you do after like this? <laughs> so, uh, Take a time, bro. Take a time. You know, so we've been on the ground, bro. You know, we've been sending all this aid of course like i said you were sending all this aid through and then we're getting footage out of gaza where there's people crying that they've got a touch of flour a feel of a bit of flour when we've sent forces. hundreds and hundreds of tons hundreds and hundreds of tons of course yeah of course. And, and and you think well for what for what yeah if it deflates you i understand so so this is where so this and, and then you're seeing organizations like I said, because I know the system, so I know it. So I'm looking at Rafa and seeing all these organizations specifically saying our trucks have entered Gaza. Yeah. Maybe well, no, your trucks been, haven't entered. How much have, uh, okay, Come because on. they're coming back. That's what you're saying. So your, truck, your trucks haven't entered because you're just going through the first process. Oh my God. And the first process, you're just, you're just, going, you're just going through that a little bit. So that's a deception right there. So, and then I've showed you footage of, the other side. of people who have got out of there, Alhamdulillah, you know, 
victims yeah, who have yeah, got out. Yeah, yeah. They're showing. And up. they're showing footage of the other side of that of that okay. crossing. I've been pressing you, and and I apologise if you feel I'm no, no, over, no. I'm overstating this, but. We're speaking in generalized terms, right? About no. charity sector, no. charities, emails and whatnot. But I really want you to mention a charity that you've had an involvement with, which some charities are better than others. I'm not denying that. Mm. I stress that to the, mm. to, to the camera that, and the viewers that I'm sure there's charities that are much better and more transparent than others. Mm. But there are, there are others that are despicable, disgraceful, etc. So I'm sure in your experience and your involvement with the charity sector, there must be one, I'm, you know, that so, I, I have to ask you about. So, so look, so, so I'll give you like a recent, recent example. Yeah, There's one closest to me, yeah. So, so like and I'm not dictating anything. No, 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 no. So, so, so it's good though, look, you know. So, like I said to you, all charities, I'm sure they set out with good intent. But they hold a responsibility then. That's right. That they've got to make sure that everyone's conducting themselves correct. Because you're taking the, the line, yeah? Okay. So it's like, look, I've worked with organizations where I've had to step away from a lot of them. You mentioned Muslims and, uh, need one of them. But that's okay. one right. So, so representatives of charities, if they're conducting themselves in an ill manner, then I'm going to step away from them because okay. then I'll highlight, I'll make sure that they, they people know. know. And if... If they don't choose to act on it accordingly, then look, then that's me and don't it's finished. Yeah, yeah, it's done. Uh, sorry, it's only the most recent of the yeah. charity uh, court. Court, I did. Yeah, court, Kashmir like Orphan something it's called, yeah? Okay, K O R T. Let, let me just spell K O R T. Yeah, so. Where are they based? I've never heard of them. Court. I think it's it. Oh, sorry. Uh, K O R T. Yeah, K O R T. Okay, got you. Okay, so. So, so, so a family friend of mine rings me up. Yeah, let me. I'll just go back a little bit first. Yes, so, back. so she ring me up. She said, "Look, I want to place a donation." Now it's a, it's a substantial donation. So I explained to her. I said, "Look, I says, you know, there's, there's, a, you know, there's us and a few." Are people. you in Egypt right now? Yeah, I'm in Egypt now. Yeah. So I said, "Look, I said, so just for what I'm doing now at the moment, I said we've got the funds. You know what we need." Okay. I said, "But what we're setting up here now, I says the." Uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, food aid? No, the, not the food aid. So I moved away from that. So oh. I started, uh, so I started uh, treating mean? people, the victims from the genocide, getting them out. So once we left, left them, yeah. so I started, that, oh, you, yeah. you so started, I started that. treating them now. Yeah. So we took over a hospital over there. And I wonder, like, you know, we're getting paying for all the medical Wait, bills. The charity? Away, like, the hospital? No, the hospital is a Palestine hospital. In it's Cairo. in Cairo, yeah. So, so uh, we take over all the medical bills, oh, the living, living lifestyle for the kids and the families oh, and everything else. Yeah. So we take it all over. So I wonder, like, yeah. Now, so I said to her, I said, look, the presentation of this, I said, we're going to bring out soon so everybody can just... It's a whole fire. And so there's a whole fire. Yeah. I said, no, because this is, it, it will, you know, you can see what, you, what you're spending money on, basically. Yeah. So it's yeah. transparent. They can see it. They take over. Someone says to me, look, I want to place this much money. So I'll say, right, listen. And you've got documentation, just yeah, yeah. as well. Video yeah. footage is not enough for me as far as... No, 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 no. You've got no, documentation. No. Yeah, but, yeah. Perfect. yeah. Perfect. And you hold those archives, you've got them. Yeah, everything, though. Everything, everything okay, from, from every... And, and I would see, I would check them later. Yeah, you'll so see, so you, everything. You, yeah, you've so, so got, got no issues with that. I've got no issues. I've got, I've got no issues. Okay. You can take it over if you want. It's open, you know what I mean? This is, this is my thing. We'll it's go together one. We'll go together one. Day. So you were saying. So, so yeah, so anyway, so I said this is hung fire. Anyway, a week, I can't remember, a week, two weeks later or something. So she calls me and says, oh, what, do you know about this uh, court charity? Yeah, that one you mentioned. So I says, uh, I don't know much about them. I said, but I know that from what I've seen on social media, they do amazing work in Pakistan. Okay. And which, which, which I've looked, you know, I've seen the yeah, work yeah, they do. And I think, yeah, you know, do amazing work. I said, why, what's up? She says, well, you didn't take my money. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I sent a tone here. There was something. I said, listen, I said, I didn't take your money. I said, but I explained to you. She said, but I felt I had to do something, she, which is understandable. She, she, like all of us. So I said, yeah. no problem. I said, but yeah, I said, so what's happening? She says, I've given. Twenty thousand pound. Twenty thousand pound. Twenty thousand UK pound. To who? To court. To court charity. Yeah. For what? For, what for food aid, food parcels. In for, where? Kashmir. No, in, in Palestine. But for I Gaza. Yeah. Operate in Kashmir. Well, they, they've watched to do some work over there. Okay. So I thought, but well, first I thought, okay, no problem. I thought they must know the system. They must know. I said, yeah. so what's the problem? She said, so well, they've sent me this footage. So asked for footage. I wanted footage of where my money's gone. Yeah. So I said, send me the footage. So send me the footage. Was that for food aid? Yeah, aid, for food aid. parcels, yeah. The one that you said that go and come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, you can, so, it's on their Instagram. You can look at it anyway, yeah. Okay. So, they're on court Instagram. And I thought, well, there's only a couple of trucks there anyway. And she says, no, but they've said they've, they've done 300 and something thousand pound, yeah. 
But she gave 20,000. Yeah, she gave 20 herself, just one person. They've said, oh, but we've done 300 and something. So I said, right, I said, so what's the issue? She said, but there's no, there's nothing. They can't, they're not showing me anything. So that's how many trucks did they show? I think it, was, it looked like two trucks and a little lorry to me anyway. But how much, how much is a truck anyway, just so that people are aware? What it depends is? on what, it depends, it depends. Okay, you depends, know what I mean? But, but 20,000, 20,000 pound. Water. What up? We've got about six trucks, eight, eight, eight trucks even. And eight, in that footage, how many more. trucks were there? One oh, yeah. truck and one little yeah, small one? Yeah, that's all. So 20,000 so, would have covered that, basically? No, no, no. Not in your opinion? Not, all, not in my opinion. So, so I've, so I've rang them because she was disheartened. You know, she was, so you rang court? So I've rang court myself. Okay. Spoke to the CEO. Whatever, so I says to him, I said, so he's speaking to him. And I says, uh, so I said, where's your QR code? Oh, you were talking about those QR codes. Yeah, because I know the system uh, now. Yeah, so I know the system. Oh, you know so I'm asking him. So I'm saying, listen. Was he aware of that? I'm no? saying, not, not at the time, no. Wow. So then he kept saying to me, oh, but who are you? No, 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 no. So yeah. I said, listen, I said, she's a family friend. So I explained to him then. Yeah. I said, listen, I said, so this is why I'm asking for QR codes. Don't give him the download. You know, me, who I am, what I do and all that. So he said, oh, no, we used a, another company, another government organization. I said, but why didn't you use Egyptian Red Crescent? Yeah, they're reputable. They, they, they had done a lot. So he said, because they're thieves. I thought, wow, I thought that's a bit of a, bit of a okay. shitty so, statement so, to make. Do you know what I mean? So I, said, but, I said, okay. I said, let's Probably just say, are. let's, let's just say for sake of argument. Yeah. I says they are. Yeah. I said, let's just say, I said, I'm going to go off you. I said, yeah, but, let's agree with that. but let's just say the organization you use the thieves. Yeah. yeah. What makes yeah, it yeah. They're not. Yeah. yeah. So good, good for the goose, good for the gander, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So right. I said, okay. I said, so what's to say that? He said, oh, we know people who've used them. I said, but you've just told me. I said, this people, they don't give you any QR codes. I, I said, so surely you would have done your due diligence to think, well, which is the safer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less of the two evils. Let's just say, yeah. So he says, "Oh no," he said, "But uh, their words good enough for me." I said, "So okay." I said, "So you no, don't work like I said, how, "How? I said, "How is that?" I said, "How is that good enough for any of your donors?" I said, "If you oh, if if you put that up, I said, "If you put that up first and said, listen, all no, I've got is the word of somebody." No, no, we'll no and so no one will donate to you. Hundred percent. I said, so why have you, I said, so why have you done that? Yeah, I agree. He saw, but we've spent so much more of them. I said, and then he says, "Oh, so are you telling me that?" All the other charities that use this company are uh, wrong and they haven't done the due diligence. I said, well, listen, I said, but I'm talking about one specific donation here. I said, that, I What's said, then we'll, we can get to the rest another time. Yeah. yeah I said, yeah, yeah. but this specific donation. What's happened? I said, what's going on? He said, well, what can I do? I said, what can well, you do? Ridiculous. I said, I'll tell you You're what to do. You're taking the money, yeah, but then yeah. you want to wash your hands after. I said, them. I'll tell you what to do. I said, I've spoken to my people in Egypt. Yeah. I said, so they said, no problem. They said, get us the registrations of the trucks. Yeah. He probably the inventories, didn't know about this. The inventories. Yeah? yeah. Because my people already said what the system of the other place is. Yeah, yeah. And he said the inventory and the driver's names. Do you have to have that presented to the Egyptian Red Crescent before you get to... Yeah, yeah, of course you do, yeah. Of course you, you do. You give them under, uh, That's under Egyptian there. Red Crescent. These lot didn't go with Egyptian Red Crescent. They went with another government organization. You know yeah? I can't remember the name of them clearly, but my people didn't speak too highly of these, this... this, okay. this Egyptian organization, yeah. Are they government based? They're government based, yeah. Okay. But they didn't speak too highly of, yeah. So they weren't spoken highly of. But then it could be six one half a dozen other with that. So yeah, but, well, let's yeah. not go off that. Yeah, we can't, we can't. So so let's just go off. You as an organization in the UK. Which supposed to carry a due diligence. You've seen you've seen two two government organizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One's offering you QR codes and the other's not. And so, and, and a, a little bit of, you know, a, where, where the stuff trail. going, a little, little trail at least, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? If it's not, let's just say it's not great in Gaza, but just at least it's up to that but point. But there's some trail there. It's up to that point. Yeah. So why do you use that? Why, why not use them then? Agreed. So you've chosen to use them. And, and even till this day now, so obviously he said, well, what can I get you? And you, so I said to him, I said, well, get me this, 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 this. this. It's been about two or three weeks, bro. Not a, not a peep out of them, not a word, not nothing. The sister's like upset. She's, wow. she's told, listen, I just want my, I want my money back then. And he's if you can't, to give it back, obviously. Just, so this is the problem, isn't it? This is the thing. This, this is this the issue. What we've got. So, so bring it to a close now. Eid al Adha, Eid al Adha, it's around the corner, um, mm. and there are going to be donations for Qurbani and Rabbi. Always, yeah, always. So, I, 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 some brother sent me some some stuff uh, about cows because understandable that the famine and the life yeah, issues. Yeah. Um, there's some again pricings of, of, of cows and whatnot. We know the garden will naturally be extortionate because it's, it's blockade and it, mm. everything is, is high. But I, I was sent, uh, some brother sent me, I can't remember who it was, but 15,000 a cow. Uh, what, what, what's your thoughts about 15, that? 15,000 what? Uh, British sterling for a cow. For a cow? Yeah. 
Is that is that? I don't know. You don't. I don't know. Okay. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll, I'll, you will follow up. Yeah, that? I'm following. One hundred and ten percent. One hundred and ten percent. I'll follow up on that. But that to me, bro. And so, team. likewise, whoever's requesting uh, that amount for cows, then what we need naturally is to see those cows. Where are the cows coming from, bro? They're probably. This is what there. I'd like to know. Okay, Where they're coming they're coming from. there. For four, five, ten, fifteen cows. I'm sure they are. But even if they just say they are, which they okay. should be. But we know there's a family because I've seen guys yeah, yeah, sacrifice yeah. horse meat. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. isn't no yeah, of course. cow. Yeah. So yeah, I can understand 2.2 million people, whether in Northern Gaza, Jabalia, mm. Beit Hanun, and going down, there'll be mm. shortages. But if you're taking money for Qurbani, for cows that are limited, because there will be a quota, mm. you're, you're admitting yourself that they're extortionate prices because we can't get hardly any. Mm. So there should naturally be footage of your cows, footage 100%. of the slaughter, 100%. footage of distribution. 110%. Yeah, is that 110%. Or by no, no, 110%. Okay. So, so that's what I've been told. So your comments on that, you'll find out what the price is on. 100%. Okay, maybe that's what I'm Now, bring it to a close. I know we've mm. discussed a lot, and I think this needs to be highlighted more often because the charity sector has, and again, I'm not saying it by just pure speculation, Charity Commission have pulled up various charities. Penny yeah. Appeal's around the news every other week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Human Appeal. You know, mm. we've got... I think there was a one called Crisis Aid recently mm. uh, in Luton. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, recently, another charity forgot to disclose one of the CEOs, but that's a different story. Yeah, so you say that. Yeah, so, so you know, look, you, you know, the thing, the thing is with organisations is now it's become like a social media clout thing. Okay. Now let me just get, to finish. Let me just give you a little example. Yeah. There. So. There's a there's a social media I don't know influencer if you want to call him TikTok or whatever yeah. But there's, called, there's, numerous, there's numerous of them now. Yeah. So so there's this guy called Quinn, Quinn. Yeah, from America. Yeah. Some ginger beard guy. So he's oh so he's a he's a campaigner for Palestine or claims to be yeah claims to be okay must be a social so 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 this this guy now is I know firsthand because I've had the victims come over to me. Okay. Who have been injured over in Gaza? Yeah. Okay. They've come over. They've been duped into believing this guy's going to help them. This Quinn guy. This Quinn guy. Yeah. Okay. And he sort of like imposes himself amongst the UK organisations, yeah, and makes out like he's a. He's a Who is he he's, anyway? He's, I don't know. Some some guy off Quinn Eskimo or something they call them on okay. social media. Yeah. Okay. Now I know that he's left these people open to abuse. Wow. Yeah, 110. And Muslim see, charities is, are working with him? And Muslim charities. So Muslim, because he's got a bit of a social media clout, oh, yeah, you'll yeah. see Muslim charities working, Obviously. like, like allowing him, allowing him to infiltrate. Yeah, yeah. Because and, he's and, not the to, following. And he twists words, you know, mincism, yeah, like, you know, our group leaders, as what? if he's, you know, yeah, as, as, as if it's him. And these lot are just allowing him to do it for social media clout. But now, so this guy is an abuser of the abused. Is he fundraising for these Muslim charities? Yeah, yeah, because he, he, he fundraises, he fundraises. And, uh, and he's abusing. He, and and he, he's with. So this is where I say to you, you know, where charities don't pull in, don't rein their representatives in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. And so, well, if they, if, they, if you're not, then you're part of it. Of course, you're complicit. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So, so this, and I've pulled organisations up about this guy. I pulled happened? them up about him. What's happened? And then nothing. Because he's bringing in the donations. Yeah, nothing. And I, and so, so there's a sister. I think she was from Wolverhampton, maybe or Birmingham. And I seen I seen uh, someone sent me the her advertising his tour in the UK. So I've rang the brother up who's holding the who's entered the organisation. Well, I talked to the sister first. I said, "Listen, I said, you know, it's not best. You know, look, this yeah, guy." Of so she says, "Oh, I've spoke to the guy organising it. I'm just supporting him. He's organising." So I ring the brother up. So I spoke to him. I tell him about it. Yeah, and I say, "Look, this is what it first is. hand experience. First hand, yeah. So this is first hand. This, this, this." So I said, oh, "Thanks for raising it with me." And. Uh, he's not a paid speaker. I said, well, that's irrelevant whether he's paid or not. I yeah. said, he's an abuser of the abuse. abused. I said, now, and no, I'm telling you this, you know, you and, 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 and so now it's up to you what you do about it. But I said, now, just remember, I've told you. you so if it comes out later on and someone says to me, oh, well, you know, did you? No, but you're going to call him Well, I've told you. That's fine. So you mentioned about this Eskimo yeah, um, yeah. Uh, fundraiser yeah. uh, regarding that he, you mentioned abuse the abuse. So mm. do you have any evidence, one, and do you have any example of him committing so, the defenses? So, because it's just your word, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's, it's, it's not just my word, isn't it? You see? So I'll give you the, the first example, how it got highlighted to me. was uh, So a doctor got in touch with me, a Gazan doctor, yeah. and he says, look, he says, there's, uh, there's uh, two sisters. One of them's come out from the genocide. Yeah. Uh, an explosion 
Her husband's bed bound. His body's all messed up in her. But alhamdulillah, we've got him into Egypt now anyway. Oh, but this at the time. Treated. So she lost her eye. She lost her eye. Her eyeball at the bomb blast. Her eyeball mm-hmm. come out mm-hmm. off the retina. Mm-hmm. So, but then they paid an extortionate price to get housed in Egypt for, out of the military hospital. They had to pay 2,500 US dollars. Oh, that is a lot of money over there. That is a lot of money. Yeah? A lot of money. So by hook or by crook, you know, they scraped this money together so she could get out of the military hospital and get proper treatment yeah, within yeah, the Egyptian right. hospitals. Yeah? Got you. So somehow this guy, this Quinn and someone else ended up in these military hospitals or, or wherever they ended up uh, and they made contact with this, these yeah. people or this doctor made contact with them. Or somehow anyway, they got made contact. And these promised to give them a lifestyle in Egypt and get the medical bill started. Of course, and of course. So the, she, then she, the sister started questioning things, but they come into the rooms, like, you know, just walk in on them and, you know, stuff like this. Yeah, the and these have got, you know, they've got a bit, of course, you know, they've got yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So they started calling them out on it. So then when the, when the rent come up, the month rent, so there's 2,500. I can, yeah. Because they started speaking out a little bit. So they said, right, listen, there's nothing we could do for you now. This and event, yeah, and the vendor opened in a janitor's room. In the hospital? No, with it, in janitor's room, yeah. Janitor's, in janitor's room in a block of apartments. A janitor's room where the guy just, oh, no, the vendor up there, this is the only gone. place. No eye, she's got no eye. They hadn't even got her an eye at this point. They've not done nothing. So someone's got in touch with us and said, this doctor, they said, look, this is what's happened. So we said, this one, I bring him, you know, I'm like, you know we, we've taken And did you call in. out this Eskimo? Paid, yeah, of course I've called him out, yeah. Called him yeah, out. No I, I spoke to organisations in the UK saying, listen, this is this guy. And you've got evidence, so this, you say evidence, what evidence do you have? Well, I've got the case, I've got the case myself. I've got a visual statement from her, a camera recorded statement. Record yeah, video? Recorded statement from these people. Okay, can we, yeah. have we got permission to? We've got permission. You've got permission to, I've got permission, yeah, we've got permission. So this is yeah. one evidence that we have from this estimate yeah. abusing yeah. Uh, donations and not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. following on his promise. Ismailin yeah. al-Madhun, umra 24 years old, tariq 25 years old, 2023 تم اصابتي انا وزوجي واستشهاد ابني ابني كان عمره 35 يوم ولد طفل حار تاريخ 21 11 اصابه زوجي كانت برجلي التنتين ونزيف بالمعده وكسر بايده وكسر بحوض وكانت اصابته كثير شديده للاسف هو حاليا ضايل بغزه مستشفى الاوروبي ومحتاج انه يطلع للعلاج بس مش قادر انه نطلعه تم استئصال عين الشمال you see, this is this is example that if brother uh, Ibi didn't highlight this, how would you know? And I'm sure there's many more. Loads, there's, there's lots, lots more. There's loads of cases. What? We could just keep going on. Yeah, of on. course, and we want to bring we'll this to a close, man. So, Allah, you very quick for the invite. I know it's uh, right, we've taken up your time, and there's been a lot of discussion. And I'm sure brothers and sisters are going to ponder about what information you presented. And mm. it's it's important that Eid al Adha is around the corner, and the Qurbani donations, mm. and even general donations. What would your message be to all the brothers and sisters watching after hearing what they've heard? And I'm sure they must be fuming about the information that you've cascaded. You know, What's your message to our brothers and sisters in closing? You know, Gaza's close to all of us. You know, there's, there's no, there's no denying that. You know, we all, you know, we have a... That's why we're sitting here today. Exactly. So, you know, as good as on the face of it, all these organizations look, yeah. you know, and like I said, you know, we've got intent. But then along the way somewhere, you know, something goes wrong, representatives, whatever, whatever. What I will say is before you donate, yeah. the, the simple steps, how much is it? How is the due diligence done on this? And are we going to get footage? Yes. Full 100% concrete evidence that everything what you're saying is going to get a day to and going to get fulfilled. And what about paperwork? How, how would you feel about the paperwork, Edmund? Abby? Because that's the footage, like you said, you, you told yeah. us about the trucks go in. And yeah. from, if we didn't know about what you just told us, mm. we would think, alhamdulillah, it's going to yeah. Rafa and Khan units or whatever. Mm. No, it's not. It's no. coming straight back out. No. So how the paperwork element of it, that's why it's important, isn't it? 100%. Everything's important. The pay, everything's got to be, it, it, it's collected. Everything, everything's got to be shown. And more so now, this is, because we know yeah, what course. goes on. Now you so know now as well. we want, now we want paperwork, paperwork, footage. visual footage, everything. Everything. It's not enough now with just... No, every, uh, it's, it's just the way, unfortunately, yeah. it's the way it is. Now. It's your that's money, what, what you what have to be careful. Percent. And like, and, and me and brother Imi are here. I haven't, I'm not involved in the charity sector. So it's not as if no. I'm calling out charities because I want my charity to prosper. No, no. And you've gone uh, uh, to Egypt individually with your own expenses, yep. leaving your family behind. So, 100%. you know, for the cause of the Ummah and Palestine, like you just mentioned, close to our heart. Yep. So, in closing, Akhi, 
Allah reward you for the invite. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for the effort and the work that you've done. And may Allah continue to use you for this noble cause. So in closing, walillah alhamdulillah minna, just take heed of Brother Imi's, uh, you know, advice, experience. And like, no, balakht, we, we've conveyed, you know, balagna, we've conveyed to you exactly what's happening. Just because they mentioned charity or Syria or Palestine or Yemen, it's not, it, sometimes it's not what it seems from the apparent. So ask your questions, ask for transparency. I mean, that's one of the other. If the charities are not forthcoming, then Imi, that's a sign that something's not right. Yeah. So take care of yourself. Uh, Imi, have you got any last messages? Just so in closing, we've learned about keep, you, about, you know, just, generally all just, keep, just keep us in your du'as, inshallah. Okay. That's all. That's okay. all we can ask in it. So, we have the last time the next time. Subscribe to the channel, bro, Hajis. Uh, follow uh, Irish Imi on Facebook, Insta, and inshallah we'll keep in touch. And there'll probably be more conversations like these. Maybe we'll go out and do a campaign together. Who knows? Inshallah. Maybe he's not inshallah. upset with me since 2016. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> anyway.